Hey, hey, like, comment, subscribe. I'm Mr. Coppable. tapping back in with another one all right so i'm gonna show you how to before this female right here is gonna get a nice little fade and uh, you may not be able to tell but this comes off of a myrtle litter for my partner and i'm actually gonna do a quick video for y'all so right, guys so the first thing we do here is collect their information and once we collect their information we go to the next step so, so stay tuned. we take their information right and then we make sure that the utensils that we're using is sterile, all right? And so that you guys don't just think it's blue water, what we use is this stuff right here, chlorhexidine, all right? And this solution is a 2%, all right? And then you're gonna wanna have this stuff that you clean up with like the Q-tips. Make sure you have fresh surgical blades. You see it says sterile surgical blades. So we'll glove up here. There's some gloves over there, right there in the corner. All right. Um, Lidocaine, lidocaine is for pain, um, and that's really, and whatever you use to put the dogs down, all right? I don't want to show any names here. We get it prescribed from our vet, and that's the process, guys. Make sure it's a sterile environment. That's it. Don't forget your PPE for whatever reason you may be doing this or learning to do it. What it is, is personal protection equipment. I'll be back. So we do a nail trim. That's courtesy of us guys. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to pay any extra for it. But we do a nail trim. The next step is getting her weight. So we try to get an accurate weight. Come on. I need your weight. So we're looking at like 10, 2. But she's active. But you guys get, the, yep, 10, 2. All right, guys. And so the next step is to open up a new sterile needle right and when you get these out you're going to want to like kind of twist them because the caps will come off with that needle so you just want to twist it and then whatever you're using for your sedation fill it up to the appropriate level for her for her she's like she's 10 2 so i'm gonna give her uh, 10 pounds and then, but I'm going to load a half a cc extra in here for when we start the procedure. You know, once we get halfway through the procedure, um, they sometimes want to come up um, because of the muscle movements and stuff like that. We'll hit them with another half cc. And I think this is actually sideways, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry. It, it's sideways. I have to flip it around. On top of that, what you're going to want to do is... From your sterile water, you're going to get your needle uh, and you're going to put your blade on the utensil itself. Sterile blade, guys. Freshly opened. This is a 22. So if you know your blades or you want to know a blade, what blade we're using, we're using a 22 blade. And this is what we crop the ears with too, guys. It's going to be a 22 blade. I put it in the, the liquid, the chlorhexidine, so it can sanitize that sterile blade. I don't want to sit it down on anything. I put it into that, right? Because that's a sterile environment. That's where I can sit it at. All right. And then we go from there. And then what you're going to want to do is find it into the muscle itself. All right. They may feel the pinch. I draw back on the needle to make sure I'm not in a vein. And then I'm going to slowly put it into her muscle all right and remember I said I left I put an extra cc in there half a cc point point five I leave that in so I can then use it for later I'll show you guys this because you know I did I showed you guys the lidocaine right and that's this the lidocaine and that's for when we actually at the the incision site but before that what we like to use and this is what we got from the vet is DMSO gel and don't give me the uh, 
I don't want to lie to you, but it's a uh, dimonium sulfate something, um, and that's what DMSO. You can look it up, and you see where it says mix with lidocaine. What that does is it turns it into a topical, and I'll show you. We have some right here that's already pre-mixed up and it turns it into an actual topical. So before we start the incision, it's good to go. We numb that area. And then once we go through, we'll kind of spray this on the incision site. Um, you, you have lidocaine with epi, and so what that does is it controls the bleeding. All right guys, that's just a little bit of the inside trade. What people don't want you to know. I'm giving you all a free shot in the background, guys. All right, so some some practices may want to use this, depending on what vet you go to. They strongly suggest you muzzle the dog in any type of surgery. Um, this one allows the dog to still breathe. Um, with the sedation that we use, they still have a gag reflex, too. And so we sometimes use these depending on the dog. This one's for a smaller dog, well, medium, they say, but that's for a small in our world, guys, in the bully world, all right? And then this large is a medium in the bully world, all right? And then strongly, strongly suggest to have them strapped down, guys, and why you want to do that is because you're going to have involuntary muscle movement, all right? So... Don't think when you see, you know, the dog strapped down or anything like that is that it's inhumane. What that's for is for the muscle movement that they have that's involuntary. We have to be able to control that. It's pretty similar to when, you know, you go into surgery yourself. They have to control the involuntary muscle movements. All right, guys. So we're eight seconds left before we actually start the procedure. This right here is so that we don't get any blood sprayed on us. And then this one right here is adjacent to the actual light that you guys see over there that we will be able to see exactly where we're at. All right, guys. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So rule of thumb, you know, you tap right there, kind of see them if they blink. And then I'll show you some of the involuntarily muscle movements before we strap her down. Let's see if she does it. It's gonna make me into a liar. Look at the foot. You all see that slight movement? Whoop, there we go, you see that? That's what we're talking about. And as you can still see, she's knocked out. She's sedated, but she still has involuntary muscle movement. So this customer, what we do, um, we've already checked for heart murmur and stuff like that. We're going to leave the bell on, which is this back part, right, and come around. They want it close to battle. So close to battle is going to be like to this tip here. You see that, guys? That's what they want. So we're going to try to get them close to what they want, but also looking at her head shape. All right. Just like that, guys. All right, guys, so this is what it's going to look like, and you're looking at this side of the ear of what it may look like. And then we're going to lidocaine that area. Fold it open. We'll lidocaine this area so you can see what it looks like. All right, so that lidocaine with the DMSO sticks. It's like rotten eggs, but it works, and you're going to want to allow... For it to set for a while so the clamp is on there but we haven't clamped it down just yet because we want to numb that area and this isn't illegal guys at all you know look up your your state regulations but as far as for us it's not illegal so we perform the service for a lot of clients and we work hand in hand with our vet. Our vet prescribes it. All right, so now you can see we're fully shut closed. And so this ear will be removed now, all right, to a crop. So there you go, guys, two matching pieces and the pup. I'll get you a better photo of the pup here in a minute. All right, so guys, she's starting to wake up from her sedation. 
I'm going to show you the new look she got going on here. She's looking good, right? Yeah, I know. Hey, and I'm your boy, Mr. Comparable. If you knew better, you do better. Hey, hey, check it out. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, I'm Mr. Comparable. Boy, boy, copper boy, what a red demon, what a old English, what a bad chick speak old English. Dope man, I mean dope man. Paper working into John hand. Trustworthy to a blind man. Unstoppable, come copper boy, do the I I I done it then. I just can't do the running man, but I can run with my dope man. I can run with no hands, I can run with one hand. Low price, be the best price, but quality, keep it looking right. And you know that it's looking nice. North side to the east side, south side to the west side. Copper boy on any side, copper boy up in any state. Yeah, copper. Bull, pull up at your place, met a door, top of Labrador If you love the bulls, this is what it's for Unstoppable, come a cop a bull